looks everything new under the sun. Well, I'm out and about. The Canadianism. Out and about, out and about. It probably still sounds like out and about. Um, going to do a bit of a walk and talk here. On my lunch break, I'm just getting some exercise in my legs here. Stretching them out. I sit behind, behind a computer all day. Nine to five, so. Best for my health to get out. Out and about. As they say, it's pretty much as much as I can. But, uh, so I try and get out here when I'm on my lunch break and just go for a quick walk. So we're just walking down here past the uh, chicken coop and uh, I'm going to see if the piggy's in there. Looks like he's got his uh, food bowl all mixed up. I'm not sure where he is. I want to talk about uh, cryptocurrencies and the whole pillar thing. So I see Pillar was uh, apparently trading on some exchange and it was going for less than the, the 0 0.0005 ethers or whatever and so it's going for below price but I think that'll turn around. Let's see if I can find... Hey Piggy! Make sure the Piggy didn't escape his uh, pig pen here. Piggy! <coughs> oh, there he is, okay. Let's crack this one here. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Need to clean that out. Hey, piggy. All right. Anyways, cryptos. So the pillar token. Um. So I, I got in on pillar, a couple of bucks, not any huge amount by any stretch. Look at the apples there. So basically, I'm, I'm waiting for it to get an exchange and. We'll see where this goes. I mean, uh, you got to be a little bit patient. The cryptos are so volatile, so it should uh, increase or decrease rapidly, or go go in some direction fairly fast. But you still got to be patient by a couple of weeks. And so I know there's a lot of people. I haven't heard Jason at Four's commentary on uh, where he thinks it's going, or you know, uh, I haven't sort of heard a follow-up video. I guess. Which I was kind of expecting. So I'm waiting to hear that. Um, my thoughts, however, are that I think I think it eventually will do well. Um, there's been lots of scams and um, uh, hackers attacking some other sites. And uh, I've seen lots of comments about the rollout uh, of Pillar. Uh, we got through somewhat safely, uh, unlike some of the other um, ICOs that have occurred. Um, and so we got our tokens, <clears throat> so now we're just waiting, like I say, for them to get on some sort of exchange, and then I'm, I'm fascinated to see what kind of happens there. Now, I don't even know the software uh, that JSNet4 is using to uh, Ether, Ether Delta. I think, I think you can go to Ether Delta and uh, find out what all these things are trading for, you know, before they get onto um, a regular exchange like Kraken or, or Coinbase or whatever. Um, so it's interesting, and like I say, I don't want to make it. Well, I want to make a ton of money, I guess. Why is there dog poop on my pathway? We don't have a dog. Why well, there's dog poop on my pathway? It's interesting. Anyways, maybe that's from uh, a fox or something. I kind of just want to. I'd, I'd be happy if I if I double my money, to be honest, and. Um, and then I pull that money out basically and and uh, buy some silver. There's a pig resting in the in the water underneath the the water thing. Hey, Peggy. <clears throat> so part of this uh, whole prepper off grid thing is that we keep pigs and chickens. Of course, I've had really bad luck with chickens and last year, uh, last year, this year I've lost probably 30 or 40 different birds. Uh, meat birds, and I had issues with raccoons, which I've I've killed the raccoons now. So, but there's always raccoons around because we've got this old house here. Um, we've got lots of habitat for raccoons and you know vermin problem, rats and all these sorts of things. Anyways, it has nothing to do with pillar. So I don't honestly think that I'll be doing um, another ICO. I would probably buy in maybe the Litecoin and hold a longer term position. Um, seems like JSNP and 
Bix Weir think Litecoin is good. And, and you know, I'm honestly I'm taking their opinions um, uh, into account there, and you know they know more about the crypto space than I do. I think it'd probably be interesting to do an interview with uh, with Jason at four on my YouTube channel just for fun, uh, just to talk to him about that. Uh, you know, cryptos for newbies and and this sort of thing. And uh, so I should look into that. Maybe I'll ask him if he's interested in doing something like that. But anyways, yeah, the, the crypto thing. I mean, there's money to be made there. The ICOs. I mean, you're really gambling. You're 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 betting. You're betting money. You're gambling money um, that a company will be able to put a product out and that they will become profitable. And then if they're profitable, more investors will want to invest. And then overall, your tokens will increase in value. It's really no different then investing in a company on the stock market and so it, from that point of view you know it's kind of like gambling um, you could lose your money at any time whereas having the, the tokens uh, sorry the the coins having the coins is more like well you're just holding you know US dollars or something <clears throat> it's still fiat but it's uh, it's something that at least is always going to be worth value whereas in theory as long as um, uh, the blockchain and cryptocurrencies are alive whereas the tokens if the the company goes bankrupt well you've lost all your money so with the coins they can go up and down in value but likely the coins themselves like the uh, ethereum uh, Bitcoin they're not going away anytime soon uh, but with the with the tokens there's a lot more risk but a lot more upside as well so you can have a little a uh, little bit of risk with your Bitcoin ethereum uh, but the upside is not as massive, although if you wait a couple of years, it, sh it should be and will be and, you know, probably will be. But with the tokens, the upside is massive, but the downside is just as massive. You could lose everything. So the safest um, <clears throat> is to hold some light coins. Well, even safer than that is to, um, if you get any profits out of cryptos, is to take it out and put it in uh, gold and silver. And that, that's really what I would plan to do. Well... Um, get put it in gold and silver, and um, just looking at the pig there. Should get a bucket of water for that that pig. It's not too hot out today. It's only like 20 degrees, 22 degrees. But anyways, um, gold and silver. But also pay off debt, and that's what I want to do over the next year. I want to really focus on uh, paying down the debt because if we have less debt, then we have so much more um, disposable income every month that we could put towards anything. I could put into gold and silver. I could put some more money into cryptocurrencies. I could do all sorts of things. <clears throat> so that that is my quick recommendation, and uh, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna reach out to Jay Snip and uh, see if I can uh, do a, a quick chat with him. I think that would be interesting. So, anyways, I'll leave it there. Just to, I just wanted to share thoughts about the cryptos and pillar and and what I'm doing with them, and uh, yeah. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Over.